just saw in a lot of ways. Davis for three. And tipped right back to him. Davis comes in, and he's on the board. Does that change anything here? It doesn't really change anything, but in the back of your mind, you're saying, you know what, if we can win this game, we got a heck, not, it's going to be a tough game, but we got a heck of a chance to get to a Sweet 16. Yeah, he's their third leading scorer, about 10 a game, the seven-footer. Transfer from Texas Tech. Here's Penny Hardaway's son, Jaden, and his first jumper is good. And you'll see Memphis is one of the fastest playing teams in the country. They want to play a quick tempo. And FAU doesn't want to play slow, but they're not quite in that range with Memphis. Brian Greenlee connects from the outside. The Tigers team that's coming off a win Sunday against Houston in the American Conference Championship game. Greenlee, another three. Back to back for Brian Greenlee. Memphis, Memphis is the... Memphis is the opposite. They only make about six threes a game. Had to put that one up with the shot clock winding down, and the tip is good. And one thing that we're going to see, too, with FAU, they had the number one bench in the country in terms of scoring. McCadden hits from the outside. Just his 10th three of the yeah. year. And you're playing a team that shoots the three that well. Let's see what wins out. Weatherspoon hits the three. Brandon Weatherspoon. Halfway down and out, and Gaffney calmly brings it up. Weatherspoon. Oh, great look, and Rosado finishes. Here's Gaffney, five on the shot clock. Bounces it down low, and Rosado again with the right hand. And they did a good job of helping, but then staying too long. And the problem for Memphis is, is when they're not running, and they're not a bad half-court team, but they much prefer to be out in the open court. Rosado, turn around, and a foul! So they can beat you off the dribble if you come way out on them. They are a tough team for a reason. It's a 10-0 run, and Rosado has scored the last seven for Florida Atlantic, but Jaden Hardaway with his second bucket stops the... Midway through the first half. Lomax. Oh, Davis goes right around him for two. Davis comes away with it. And this is what they have to do. They got to go, just like that. Davis misses, but there is Lawson with the follow. Five to shoot. Boyd has to put one up. He does. The three is good. Nick Boyd with the shot clock expiring. Franklin feeds it inside. McCadden down low for two. Really good ball movement that time by Memphis. This is where Memphis is at their best. Jonathan Lawson for three. Lawson get the bounce. McCadden the follow. 6.40 to go in the first half. Oh, easy play and a finish by Martin. Franklin for three. And Memphis is starting to heat up. Yeah, they only average six threes a game. So whatever they get from out there is a bonus. Another back cut. Blocked by Franklin. Golden. Williams to the deck and Golden finishes and Penny Hardaway was looking for a foul. Yeah, I didn't think it was a charge. FAU shooting 50% in the first half. Memphis 33%. Davis trying to get going and that will help. It's a two and he's got five points. He has a great pull-up game. Left, right. Hardaway catch and shoot three. It's good. Jaden Hardaway with seven points for Memphis. Oh, Rosado spinning. How about it? Giancarlo Rosado in double figures. Career high is 15. Davis, yes. Oh, he's shooting that. Davis for three. Yes. That was a really good play after that timeout by Penny Hardaway. And they've done the job defensively. Four for 14. FAU, one of the best three-point shooting teams in the country. Johnnell Davis for two. Memphis's length and athleticism defensively really bothered his team, so expect for them to move the ball a lot more in the second half. He said Giancarlo Rosado is a skilled guy one-on-one -on -one when he matches up against these centers, so he wasn't surprised at all. Davis for three. Hardaway the rebound. See, those are tough threes. McCadden leaves it for Williams. 
for two. Kendrick has a son, Kendrick Jr., who was at the game today, that he knows uh, would want to spend a lot more time with his grandfather if he could. And Jamie well said, we hope the family can get some answers. Great pass. Hardaway finishes. Nice cut there. Greenlee on the drive off glass for two. Useful for Brian Greenlee. As soon as they switch the screen, they get up into guys so they can't get open for that three. Gaffney off balance shot wow. gets it to go. That was good defense. Tough shot. Gaffney ties the game. DeAndre Williams is really? at the scorer's I, I, table I, with 1440 to go. I saw him get up and I'm like, really? Lomax connects. I, I'm speechless. You and me both on the baseline. Passes to Dandridge and off glass for two. Really good pass there and a good catch in traffic. The zone is a good idea with a guy with fouls. Why not? Lomax just inside the line knocks it down. Boy, Dandridge has been really good. Williams, good pass. Ooh, and Dandridge the finish. The Auburn Tigers, and that's why Andy gave you a shot of the Memphis Tiger. Nicely done, Andrew. <laughs> With Bill Thayer, our producer, and Elijah Martin hitting a three. We played them in the Final Four in 1985. The three. With the shot clock winding down, and wow. Boyd drains it. Davis answers. Kendrick Davis with 16. Getting closer to crunch time. And Greenlee with the strong move. Lomax with the left hand. Yes. Tough shot. Now Davis with the right hand. No. Golden, the offensive rebound and put back. And now all of a sudden, neither team can miss. Or he just can't come back in. Lawson will take a three. Wow. And he gets the bounce. Big shot there. Six threes he's made all year. Can Davis answer? He can. Here we go. Coming down the stretch. Davis, another three is good. Janelle Davis is heating up. He's got a dozen. Yeah, this guy's starting to roll. We talked about him in the open. They're trying to track it down. Now, shot clock at two. Florida Atlantic with Boyd. No. And Janelle Davis has it right back inside to Rosado. And the Owls are up by two. With Rosado on him. Davis going to try to take him. Puts him a wild shot. No good. Offensive rebound. Williams count it and one. Now Boyd with five on the shot clock. Boyd off balance, two, no, tipped up and in! Ten seconds to shoot. Gotta get the right guy shooting the ball, and that's not the right guy. McCadden, short, the tip is good! And Petty Hardaway calls another timeout. About it. We're gonna have to foul anyway. Davis with his defender slipping. Davis inside. No, Williams the rebound. And there's the foul with 19.8 left. 16 seconds left. Your foul, guys. Oh, oh they turn it over. over. Davis. Here's Boyd. Five seconds left. Boyd drives. Scores with 2.5. And the Boyd made a great play because instead of just firing it up, he knows the best thing to do is to drive it and maybe get a foul. He just lays it in the basket. No help comes. It comes very late. Just a great play by Boyd. Lomax at midcourt. McCannon doesn't get it off. And the end.